Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Connie coming on today to share with you just the process video of how I put the ball scarecrow gnome from Kadoodlebug Designs together. And for those of you who asked or someone asked for how I do the shadow for my stamped images with my Cricut, I am working on that video also. So I just wanted to let you know that I have not forgotten about that. So anyway, um, I have my background piece. I just cut mine out of my shrimp. Ugh, what a mess I made. Um, I don't know why I chose that color other than, yeah, I found a whole new package that I didn't realize I had. So now I have two brand new packages and um, I just kind of wanted a lighter color. So that's what I went with. Don't ask. I don't know why I do these things, but I have so much what I do. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep in frame here for a change. I'm going to be putting the pumpkin here on first. I have the photo in front of me here, so I just kind of want to keep that also. So I'm looking for, I believe it's going to be this piece of hay straw, I guess I should say. I'm not a farm girl, so you can laugh. I've been on plenty of farms, but just not... I don't pay attention all the time. My mom used to laugh at me too. She always tell you're a city girl, so yep, I am. Okay, quit talking, get working, right? Hope everybody's having a good day. I do not have a clue why I bought another gnome file because I will be honest with you, I'm frankly tired of gnomes. I'm always excited to see something else. But this little guy, I think it's the mouth got to me and I had to have him. So there you are. Okay, then we wanna put on one of the pumpkin stems. I got a little bit of a ugh, mess here. This one is going to be, I believe, there are two of them here. And I believe it's this one. We'll find out in a minute. Helps me to pick it up. Yeah. just at an angle far enough that I, I'm going to have to move my tripod because I can't see with my glasses and I can't see without them, which is nothing new, but this time it's worse than normal. Now I am going to do a little bit of detailing as I go along, uh, just because I do find it easier than trying after I've got my pieces together to do it, so. Let's do a little bit of chalking as I go. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I apologize for my voice. It's the time of year it's gonna start really getting bad, I'm afraid. Okay. Putting the pumpkin on next, there's a little bit of piece here that you maybe can see that's not covered and that's going to be taken care of with the leaf for the pumpkin. So we're good. Um, one thing I didn't do this time and I don't think I'm going to stop to do it is because I'll have to go find the embossing folder and everything. I'm going to leave my hat and stuff this time alone. but. When I emboss my pieces, I have them inked. I cut them out just like I'm here. I ink them like I would. And if I want to do any highlighting uh, with like, you know, the white chalk or anything, I try to do that first. And then I come in 
and do my embossing. Now, I do forget to do my highlighting first. That's not a big issue. You can always do it later. Uh, but just want to let you know that that's why I do it. I, I cut embossing is the last thing before I put it together. So, okay, I'm not putting any lines in my pumpkins this time. I'm going to leave them alone because they are quite tiny and I really have to get some, just a couple of maybe Copic markers, the colors I use. It's like a mossy green I use a lot and a couple brown colors. I don't have any Copics so I have some detailing pens but I don't have this mossy green that I like to use so I'm going to hold this up so I can maybe see it better to get everything covered and I might come back and put the lines in the leaves they're just kind of boring without I'm not sure I'll see okay now I'm going to come over and find the straw piece that goes over here just because I'm trying to do the background pieces first. This will probably not be a fast video. I have not put this little guy together yet. So, trying to figure out as I go. I don't feel like tearing anything apart. And I don't speed up my videos. I think I've mentioned that. So, And I have to stop and drink along the way because I can't, having a hard time with my talking, so. Okay, now we're going to put his overalls and arms and stuff on. So we're going to do the arms first. They'll go under the sleeves. And this has got pretty much, there's a little piece here that's going to jut out for his, the cuff of his sleeve. So this has got to come down a little bit and looking at this, pretty sure Yeah, this curve right here is going to be where the top of the arm goes. And if it's, there's clothes that goes over this, so if there is still a little bit of, you know, color peeking out, it'll get hidden with the rest of it. So I'm just lining it up here. And I'm just lining it up to where it juts out. And I want to have that jutting part left left there. So hope that makes sense. You can kind of feel it when you put it together. And then this piece is the same. It just matches up at where the top of the shoulder starts there. That's where it's going to match up at. And I was just looking at the picture versus my pumpkin and everything. That's how I put new uh, pieces together. If I'm not familiar, like I'm familiar with Kadoodlebug Designs, done a lot of her pieces. It's just, oh, she's got some new designs and they're wonderful, but I just want to make sure I get them right. So next we're going to put on his sleeves and there is a definite curve on both of them as to which way they're going, so I want to make sure I get that on right. I feel like this one might be going here. Yep. And just to be on the safe side, I'm just going to look over here. And I really don't have a way to tell you other than to put it on there, how they go, which one is which. But they do, I noticed that when I was looking at the photo, 
online uh, that there's a definite curve in his arms. So you might want to kind of watch that a little bit. And I'm just making sure I get that on. Just trying to get some glue on his sleeve here. I have got to, uh, I say this all the time, but I really do now. I have got to uh, go through my paper. I, when I was looking, making my last card, I'm trying to get that on there even. I forgot, I was thinking, oh, I don't have any fall paper much for card size, so like six inch pads. Oh yeah, I found a whole bunch. I was so mad at myself. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to put this up so to be sure that his head covers everything. He's going to have his um, coveralls, the straps of his coveralls coming on, but I just want to make sure that that's high enough. I think I have to keep my computer closed. Wake, woke up. I think it goes all the way to the bottom. Look. Yep. This piece will just go to the bottom, kind of centered between his two sleeves. Oh, finally, I think fall is going to arrive middle of this coming week already. It's supposed to really get nice and cool. I hope so. I can finally do some videos. <laughs> okay, now I want to put on his coveralls. They do go to the bottom and his shoes are covering up a lot here. When I get them a little bit straighter. I'm trying to think of any other questions I've had recently. I don't think too many. I do want to thank everybody for the input on the trees, on the Christmas trees. I put a question on my Facebook page about um, that'll get covered with the pumpkin if I don't get it straight. Anyway, Wonderful ideas. Thank you. I'm not going to put his pocket on until I'm pretty much done because I am. Um, what's I going to say? I need to figure out the rest of the straw pieces. So, oh, we don't have this arm covered. Let's see if this will cover it. We'll make it work. I'll put that arm on. I don't know where this, this isn't over far enough. I'm gonna try to take this off. This is what happens when I talk and I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. It's also the beauty of this glue. I can get it off. Usually, within a very short period of time. I use reptile glue. I know a lot of you use barely art glue or art glitter glue. I used to use art glitter glue and I will... I, I do like that, don't get me wrong. It's just... Uh, I'm gonna put this up a little bit higher to cover up that sleeve because the shoes will cover it. I am... Um, Have good luck with this. So that little area there, um, yeah, it'll get covered up with the patch and the cuff. Oh, I can't think today. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. I did not cut the little circles for his green buttons. I will show you what I'm doing instead. I don't like cutting things that small if I have something else to uh, use instead. So, cut 
kind of get it, want to get these fairly straight on here as far as how far down they are. Okay, go with that. I'm going to work on the pumpkin. Well, let me put the cuffs on his sleeves first. Then I can put the cup, other pumpkin on and then I'll start up. There's no rhyme or reason to how I do pieces. Honestly, I just, I used to start at the bottom and work up, but when there's a shadow or a background piece like this, I just work however it fits. So, okay, this piece you want to make sure you get, uh, see, this got to go behind his His poor coveralls just don't want to stay on today, do they? Keep having to take them off. That should have went on first. Okay. Poor little guy. Okay, got his straw on. Now we're going to put the pumpkin handle on. Okay. Try to speed it up a little bit. I can talk for hours. It's terrible. Okay, now, caught it first. His shoes go on next because his shoes go behind the pumpkins. Duh. Glad I caught that first. This one wouldn't be a big issue, but the other one would. It happens when I work too late at night. Not quite with the program anymore, I think. Oh, there again, we gotta lift it up to put one of these on. Goodness. You probably should watch the full video uh, before you put it together, right? All right, oh, let's see there. It's a big reason why I don't use uh, our glitter glue so much anymore is only because of it is so quick drying that I can get stuff up when I need to, so. Well, if you stuck through me with all the bloopers, you see the real-time paper piecing. I don't go through this many problems when I'm doing it off camera because I can pay attention more to what I'm doing. But uh, <clears throat> things can be fixed, so not all bad to see that too. Okay, let's try to get this. On there. Okay, and the leaves are going to go on top. Looks like we have a lot of pieces left, but it's now it really will go faster. I might do a little bit of the detailing off camera, like the leaves, uh, and if there's anything else. And then I will try to take a picture when I'm all done. This has spot for it to actually fit. But I'll try to take a picture and put it on the uh, film or at the end of the video. 
Okay, this actually, let's see, goes down here. And it's the longer side goes to the outside of his pant leg. And this is the one that's more of a rectangle. Uh, the other one's got, I think they're a little bit different, yeah. The other one's got more of a sharp angle on it. This one doesn't, so. Give you an idea how they kind of go. Okay, just a second here. Now I'm going to do his face. There are two pieces to his face. Yeah, sorry about that. We actually are going to do the uh, piece that's got the little ears coming out. This one doesn't they go on top of one another. So that's what we're going to do first. Sorry if I was out of frame there. Like I said, I got to figure out this angle better. Let's see. I'm going to hold this up a little bit to get this. It's the other piece here is for the hat. So this all just fits right there, which is really nice. So you know exactly where the uh, face goes and all the other pieces for that matter. And this one gonna go right on top. What I did was I drew the mouth on first with design space, my pen, and then I also cut the mouth out. Give me an idea of where to put it a little bit. And it could have maybe been tipped up a little bit more, but I'm good with so leaving it alone. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece on right away. I know I can't, I gotta get the other pieces here. I knew there was a reason we weren't doing that yet, but... Alright. I like the embossing on this, but I also like it without, so I'm gonna leave this one alone. And let me see what so we got. Okay. So now I'm going to put these two pieces on here. And I'm just thinking which ones they should be. Because the uh, brim of his hat will cover it up because they're poking out of there. So that's why. I'm doing this and I'm not 100% sure which oh here I was going to say I'm missing a piece that little lower piece down here I thought I was missing it oh I can't don't care for that yellow paper I just mm. okay and then, I believe this piece, yep, goes here. This piece up here is actually going to come, it goes behind the um, patch on his hat. So put that on next here. Then I'll know what I have to put in his pocket. Now I need just, I think, a little piece. This is probably it, I'm not sure. Hmm. Like I said, I'm not. No. Nope, it's this piece. <laughs> Try to use the glue. And I used liquid pearls instead. I 
think it's gonna come down a bit. Yeah. Okay. Now that that we can put his hat piece patch on. his hat on. His nose. If you want to stick around, I am just going to Finish up his detailing. Um, I am going to put these two in before I glue it on. But I'm just going to be finishing up now. So if, like I said, if you want to stick around, sure, welcome to it. That's what I'm going to be finishing up, and I'll put a. Uh, well, I'll try to remember the finished piece. On the end of the video, if not, I will be sure to have one in my Facebook page. I'll give you an idea. Okay, now I'm going to put this on before I put the top piece of his. <clears throat> excuse me, top piece of the pocket on. He is adorable. I used, uh, let's see if I can find it. I used a large sponge dauber with very little white ink. It's pigment ink, so it dries much slower. But that's what I did on his pant or his coveralls, uh, just to give it a little bit of highlighting. Normally I would use chalk, but sometimes I do use white pigment ink. But you want to be sure you stamp it off. Once you get the ink on the sponge dauber, you want to be very sure that you've got, um, you stamp it off several times because it'll pick up a lot more ink than you realize. So, looking for the lid for the glue. Okay, and what I do for the uh, buttons, I'm going to use prickly pear liquid pearls. I'm not going to do it yet because I have to finish my detailing and I will have liquid pearls everywhere. So that's why I said when I get everything detailed, if you want to stick around, that's great. I'm going to still do it on film, uh, but I'm not going to do that part right now because I know me. I make a mess. So if you're not sticking around, I do want to thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, as always, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day and take care. You're watching I'm switching up pens just because this one's just a little bit darker so just want to give it a little bit of extra boost there and I got ink or chalk everywhere on my hand 
that's how I do it. I don't know, I can't get used to. I use my craft mat for so much else, you know, but I just can't remember to use it for my chalk for some reason. So one of these days, I'll get used to it. smaller pieces I gosh I get a lot of chalk on there I didn't realize the smaller pieces I unfortunately don't use that big sponge dauber so and I have discovered the white ink chalk excuse me shows up much more prominently than it does on uh, in real life it shows up much more prominently on film so if it looks like I'm using a lot that's why Let's see if I can get enough off of here Obviously I did. This is what I go through on all of my pieces. That's how much um, detail and stuff I put into them. So now I'm just getting my colored pencils and get the right color I want here. This works for me just as well as uh, markers or Copics do, so I like to use them. I actually sat down tonight and colored an image, a full image, and I got to start practicing. I'm getting really bad at coloring I just hadn't felt like anything for a while so oh, let's see just a quick moment here it's just I might use a number 10 just because it doesn't show up real dark there Just kind of looking. Oh, I know I forgot one thing. Uh, let's see if I have enough chalk on here. Oh, I can make it work. I had just a little bit. Watch a little bit will be way too much. Just erase it off. I tend to add a lot of ch 
chalk on their cheeks is so Okay, the last thing I am going to do, and then I have to let them sit, because again, I will make a mess. Okay, I've got a terrible shadow, so I apologize if I don't get right in frame. Pretty close. Okay, there he is. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Take